Trigonometry 2. This is the second trigonometry maths cast and focuses on finding the angle in a right angle triangle using Sokotoa. Again, this will be on the calculator paper and will be worth approximately three marks. So here is our question. We're asked to find the angle in this right angle triangle, the red X, and we're given two sides of six and 10 as in the diagram. The method of answering this question is almost the same as our previous maths cast when we found a side. We must label the three sides of the triangle O, A and H. We start by finding H, the longest side. Well, we can see in this one, it's the one the right angle's pointing towards, so it's 10. We then find O opposite the angle. Well, opposite the X is the bottom one. And the remaining side, we label A, the adjacent. This is exactly the same steps as for the other trigonometry questions. The O is on its own this time, so we cross it out and we will not be using it. We then need to use Sokotoa and pick which of the three we're going to use. Well, which one hasn't got O in it? Well, the middle one, Ka, doesn't have an O in it, so we will be using this tri formula triangle. I've written out the formula triangle to C, A and H, as it says on the slide. We then cover what we're looking for in our formula triangle. This time we cover the C because the angle goes with cos. This gives us C equals A divided by H. We must write down this step. We then put in the numbers. The C stands for cos angle and the angle is X. Look how I've written the X in brackets. A and H are 6 divided by 10, as you can see in my line of working out. In this sort of question, you really must show all of your working out. To have x on its own, you must get rid of the cos, and to do that, you do the cos minus 1. On a calculator, that normally involves pressing shift and then cos, and then 6 divided by 10, making sure there's brackets around the 6 and 10. You then press equals and get the answer on a calculator. The answer is 53.1 degrees, rounded to one decimal place. You can now practice the questions on the next slide and take them to your teacher for marking.